Okay, hey collector. So this is gonna be a collective reading. Okay, so you know something here. Okay, so something is clear to you, is clear and evident here. Um, yeah, like you aren't second guessing yourself. What's going on here with the collective? This could also be in regards to your intuition here as well. Like your intuition is like, I don't know, it's clearer than it's ever been. You see something here for what it is. What's going on here? This could be something that you're dealing with here as well. Um, this could also be something in regards to like somebody wants to contact you or somebody wants to reach out to you, but this is somebody that feels like it's something in regards to like abandonment, like somebody's not going to abandon you. So if you feel like somebody's going to abandon you, this person is not going to abandon you. So get that out of your head here. This could also be somebody realizing this about you. So there could be somebody that's realizing that like you have this fear of them abandoning you but this person is not going to abandon you that's what i'm getting here yep okay it could be gossip about this so it could be people gossiping about this or is something going on like you feel like wow i don't know somebody either somebody's trying to either turn you against this person or it's a lot of gossip in regards to a situation you feel like somebody's going to abandon you and like, but this person's not going to, somebody's not going to abandon you is gossip. And that's all it is. Like somebody's not going to abandon you. So basically like get that up out your head or this person wants you to know that. Yeah. This is somebody that has a lot of love for you. Wow. I'm getting, okay. Somebody came back around for you. So why would this person abandon, abandon you? Or that could be what this person says to you. Like somebody is like, I came back around for you. So why would I abandon you? So somebody wants you to know that they're like there for you or they like love you or have a lot of love for you or something. But there is somebody that's trying to make you feel like this person is going to like abandon you or something like that. Yep. Um, uh, wow. I'm also getting whoever this individual is. This person gets emotional looking at you or something like that because like... I don't know, you remind this person of somebody. It's like every time you're around this person, this person looks at you and gets emotional because you remind this person of somebody here. This could even be like a sibling of yours. And say, for instance, you look more like, like a, I'm getting a mother figure than this person. Whenever this person is around you and this person looks at you, this person sees like that energy or something. I don't know. So take that how it resonates. Somebody has a lot of love for you. I'm getting like, get up out of your head here. Yeah. Um. Wow. I'm also getting like, if you're dealing with financial issues here at the moment, this person knows that. This person knows that. Let me see what's going on here. Mm-hmm. Somebody knows that you're going to recover financially here as well. It's like you remind, if this is somebody that's not like related to you, it's like you remind this person of somebody that they knew in the past or maybe a past life. So somebody has a lot of love for you. And I told you, I got that energy in a previous reading in regards to like, um, yeah, somebody's face lighting up whenever they see you. So you may want to check that reading out. But this person like lights up when they see this person's not going to abandon you. Somebody's not going to abandon you. I don't know. You need to know that. This person's not going to abandon you. Yeah, this person is trying to be something's going to turn around for you if you're struggling financially. But this person's also trying to be logical in regards to oh. Okay, this person may be trying to be logical in regards to a situation and you may feel like this person is going to abandon you, but this person is not going to abandon you. It's a logic. It's a logical reason. It's like logic to somebody's madness. That's what I'm getting here. It's logic to somebody's madness. So take that how it resonates. Oh, somebody's playing. Okay. Somebody's acting like they aren't very intelligent, but this person is. Somebody's playing dumb here. Somebody's playing dumb. 
Mm -hmm. It's like a, wow, a method. It's a method to somebody's madness. I don't know why I said logic to somebody's madness. Somebody could be very logical, but it's like a method to somebody's madness. This person is not going to abandon you, but this person... I don't know. This person could be like trying. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. So, mm hmm. This person's intelligent. It's some type of. um. Oh, okay. Okay, you could be somebody that's very emotional here. And this person is logical. So you're on the side with this creative, femme, brain, uh, right brain. So you could be a feminine energy. And then we have logic, left brain, and masculine. Okay, so this masculine energy or this masculine, I'm getting counterpart side. This can even be a side of you. Like this could be you. Like you play, sometimes you play dumb. Sometimes you play dumb. You just sit back and you watch. So that could be significant to you. It's like you're very logical, but you're also very wise. You're very intelligent here. Uh, so you're always watching in regards to a situation or paying attention in regards to a situation. Or this is in regards to somebody that you're dealing with. And somebody has to be logical, but this person also knows that like, I'm getting like you're emotional here. This breaks somebody's heart here as well. Because this person wants to like reassure you, but this person can't reassure you somebody can't reassure you so somebody basically feels like you got to kind of like you know figure it out on your own you got to figure it out on your own for some this is a parental figure here somebody feels like you got to figure it out on your own but at the same time this person has not abandoned you that's what i'm getting here yeah what's going on here this person could also be trying to, oh, this person could be trying to make somebody feel like they abandoned you because somebody's trying to see, like somebody knows that you're being treated unjustly. And this person knows that some underhanded has happened. This could also be something in regards to fake love and a family dynamic. Somebody knows that you are being treated like the black sheep of the family. And this person wants to see how people around you are going to handle you once these individuals think that this person has like abandoned you. Yeah. I'm trying to get this card up. Is Okay, so this part, yeah, somebody's watching. Somebody's watching and paying attention to how you are being treated in a family dynamic. That's what I'm getting here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? You could be pretty emotional. Or it's like you're heartbroken. Somebody is kind of like... It's like somebody is letting you be heartbroken and letting you feel abandoned but this person didn't abandon you and it really breaks this person's heart to have to do this here as well it breaks this person's heart what's going on here yep maybe somebody's trying to make it seem like they don't want nothing to do with you or they're done with you or something like that yeah it's some type of drama here Hmm. It's some type of drama here. What's going on here? I'm about to end this. Mm-hmm. Somebody sees you as their happiness, but this person left you on red. This person could be also doing this for a karmic that they're attached to here as well. That's not going to be for everyone. Like, this person may be in a relationship... And this person stopped dealing with you or something like that. But this person, like somebody's lover likes, somebody's lover wants this person to like stop dealing with you or something. Is what I'm getting. So this person could have left you on red and this person's lover is happy about it. Like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. He over here with me. Yeah. He chose me. He ain't worried about you. He don't want you. Really, he does. He wants you, but he left you on red. And he's trying to be logical. Maybe he's trying to get out of a relationship or something. Yeah, that's too many. Um, This is somebody from your past. 
This person could also have like an old school car. Somebody likes old school cars here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Didn't what did I just say? What did I just say? This is really sad. Like, I'm really getting like, you don't know everything. Like, you don't know some here. Because somebody's trying to make you feel like they're ignoring you. They abandon you. They don't want nothing to do with you. But it's something else that you don't know about here. And it could be in regards to like, um, it's a feminine energy. And this feminine energy is like, yeah. He uh abandoned you and he ghosted you and he like he cho wow he chose her or he chose somebody I don't know mm. could be coming in with some type of receipt but see you're focusing on yourself somebody sees that you don't care but somebody could be coming in with some type of receipt and I got this energy in a previous reading. Um, and I didn't put that reading out. Somebody could be coming in with some type of receipts like, yeah, he over here with me and we dealing with each other. That's why he left you on red. That's why he left you on red because he over here with me. Yeah, he happy over here. With, like, that's what this feminine energy is on. And he's like, yo, if you really knew what was going on, like, that's not why I'm over here with her. Wow, that's not why I'm over here with her. Let me find out. Why is this masculine energy over here? Mm. Or over wherever he's at with this karmic. Because I'm really getting like he's over here dealing with whoever this karmic he is. And like you're trying to move on with your life. Give me just a second. Um... I don't know. He feels like he has to. He feel like he feels like he has to. All we have is now express yourself, take off. Why is he? Mm. I'm ending this reading. It's because his lover, he is like. This lover of his, he can't even, he feel like he don't even have a private thought to himself. He feel like, he feels like he doesn't have a private thought to himself. So he feels like he don't have time to himself away from whoever this person is. Somebody could also be stunned for the gram or something like that. Somebody's stunned for the gram. Somebody's like, oh yeah, he this is this is back and forth here. This is a lot of back and forth here. But he feels like he's stuck and he has to deal with this karmic. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna look. He don't want to. He don't want to. Oh, that's why. That's why he can't get away from this karmic. It's like, wow, it's like she is she is on his heels. She's on his heels here. He's missing your energy. Oh, he is. He's missing you. He misses you. But this karmic, whoever the hell she is, is somebody from his past. And she's trying to make you feel like he's like being seen with this karmic. But I don't know why I'm getting like blackmail. It's like he's being seen with this karmic, but... Anything else? Mm -mm. Who he's with, this person could be bossy. Also very controlling. He's with somebody that's bossy, controlling. He don't have a thought to himself. He don't have a minute to himself, a second to himself. And he has to make you feel like he uh, doesn't want anything to do with you. And that's breaking his heart. That breaks his heart because he really loves you. Whoever this person is, I don't know. For some, this could be somebody that's like uh, really close to you, like a relative. But this person is in a relationship with somebody that's kind of like bossy or controlling or somebody's dealing with something here. But this person has a lot of love for you. Somebody's like, wow, okay, to infinity and beyond, like. This could be somebody that has a strong spiritual connection to you. 
And it's like, it doesn't matter what's happening in this person's life. This person is drawn to you. So even though this, whoever this person is, this karmic situation, whatever the situation is, is trying to keep this person away from you or some type of situation here is keeping this person away from you. This person's heart is with you. And this person wants you to know that they have not abandoned you. Or they're not going to abandon you. Somebody's not going to abandon you. I'm also getting something in regards to accountability. This person is going to hold themselves accountable and not abandon you. Mm hmm Yeah, somebody is like, I'm this person could be telling their lover to stop doing something. Like, if this lover is trying to make you feel jealous or something like that, like this person chose them over you, this person is telling their lover, like, hey, yo, why is you messing with her? Like, she ain't even worried about you. Or why is you trying to make her jealous? Why is you trying to make her jealous? Okay, I'm in a relationship with you. Why are you worried about her? Wow, who was really the issue? Was it you or her? This person could have been trying to make it seem like you... While well, I'm getting a karmic, was trying to make it seem like you were a karmic. And this person is in a relationship with this karmic now. And this karmic is still holding on to your energy. Take it how it resonates. It's somebody here. This, it's a situation or somebody... That this person is connected to. Yep. And somebody's trying to like. This could be this person's karmic. Like mocking you and trolling you. Or something like that. Trying to make you jealous. Um, like I got in that previous reading. Uh, this karmic could be trying to yeah, live your role. Not, live your soul not your role. And we have choose friends wisely. Um. Mm. Somebody's friend, I don't know why I'm getting somebody's friend could have took their man or tried to. That's not going to be for everyone. Um, But, or somebody's in a relationship. Wow, you could be, for some, you are somebody's friend here. And like somebody don't want to deal with you or something like that. Or, wow, okay. While wow, this karmic is like, aha, I got him. He over here with me. Yeah, he ain't worried about you. He over here with me. But really, he is worried about you. And his karmic is worried about you as well. Take the lead. And we have be patient. I don't know. Keep moving forward. Something's going to come out in regards to this whole situation. Um... This friend could find out that they're an option. Oh. Somebody's going to like, somebody feel like, somebody's so busy trolling you and trying to make you feel like, ah, how he chose me and he over here with me. She don't even realize that this masculine is dealing with somebody else. That ain't you. Mm -hmm. And this karmic is about to find it out. But I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.